<laughs> okay, so... Um... It's not that funny. <laughs> yes, but he's high, so everything is naturally funnier. Yeah, makes so sense. So am I, but I'm busy slapping people right now. Yeah, and so God am damn I. it, why did I do that again? No, no, Riley, of all of us, you, you are... Again? Yes, I did. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Whoops! Oh. Well, oh, at the very sure least, at the very least, the uh, password's automatically in there. Okay, oh, good. I've noticed yeah. of the three of us, Riley, you will get... You will start laughing at everything, like, immediately. Like, that is the most common... That is the most common stoner symptom for Riley, is if he's giggling at something. Hey, Riley. Yeah? Pudding. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, okay. I've, I've been on strains that have set me off like that. Okay. It's, you literally do think everything is funny. I, I had, like, an extremely bad high one time. Uh, where I I was already... I probably really shouldn't have been. I had my D&D &D character, like, die. Not even by my my fault. Like, it just died because a character rolled wrong and, uh, like, casted an Eldritch Blast straight at my wounded face. And so I died. And I was, I was really bummed out, but I was already having, like, a really weird high. And my friend, my roommate, my lovely, lovely roommate comes in and I explain to him, like, what's going on and why I'm a little upset. And he... It decides to respond with, uh, hey, do you want to see my character that's not dead? And I don't know why I thought that was the funniest thing, but at the same time, while I'm bawling my eyes out, I am hysterically laughing on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> like, Damn it! mid mental okay. breakdown. So... And they're asking, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm fine. I don't know if I'm like... It's literally like that? just that one fucking Spider-Man meme where he's like fucking crying and then the next panel he's just- he's laughing while doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I checked around there. Alright. When you die but your character does a funny ragdoll. Hey, uh... Yeah. Hey, Riley. Yeah? Peptis. What? <laughs> so it didn't work. Damn it. It has to Why make it... sense. Yes, like pudding. <laughs> <laughs> or, Riley, Riley. Yeah. Bubbles. Aww, Fucking just bubbles. Adorable. <laughs> bubbles are adorable. It's such a yeah, great word. It is. And for it's some like... reason, muffin sounds more appetizing than cupcake, even though cupcakes are the ones that the kids want. I don't know, man. I like muffins. I like muffins. Yep. Yeah. I do like muffins as well. It really, de it really yeah, depends. Uh, like, like chip muffins, man. The only thing enjoyable with cupcakes is just, um, just eating the surface of it where they have all the frosting, because the rest of it is just, it's just bread or it's it's honestly, it's just. Whereas muffins, yeah, honestly, if you see half of the flavor of the cupcake is mm. depends on if the icing is good. If the yeah. icing is shit, then you don't want to eat the cupcake. Muffins, Whereas muffins are, flavor. yeah. Here, here's the thing that my like that my my dad learned from his dad about eating shit in the morning. He's like, you eat a donut, right? And my dad was like, yeah. Well, that's basically the same as eating a slice of cake. So you might as well eat a slice of cake in the morning. So, oof. I mean, yeah. legitimately, I I have had cake in the mornings. Yeah, I have too. No, there's a dude. Dad, I have... in the morning. <laughs> this doesn't surprise me. You know, some people thought it was dis like I thought it was disgusting to eat something like a cake in the morning. But when you put like put it all together, there's a dude who explains the idea about whether or not breakfast is important to have in the morning. He made a documentary. Like he doesn't have like a full like facts about it, but that wasn't the point. He's just wondering why people eat breakfast, like, have dessert for breakfast, like pancakes and everything. It's like, you know, that's not far off because a lot of breakfast products that people, like, eat these days are so filled up to the brim with sugar, depending on what you choose to eat. Right. But there is a reason Papa. behind that. And what's that? There is a reason behind that. The sugar companies had convinced all of America and actually most of the world that, um at least nor most of North America, that sugar was not the issue, it was fat that was the problem. Yeah. So oh, if you started yeah. the day with sugar, then you were starting your day right. 
Yeah, Adam ruins everything to the segment. On yeah, this. there was that. Like, the whole thing about low fat and everything and uh, how full of shit it is. Like, yeah, it's he not... was talking about, like, bacon and stuff, right? It, it's like how, like, uh, Diet Coke in, is worse for you than regular yes. Coke. Yes. Uh, yeah, like, because of other things that it has. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're better off, like, not, like, you're better off avoiding aspartame and just either drinking water or there there like there are diet drinks that aren't bad like they're they're not horrific for you but they're Wait still not good for you yeah like no no soda ever really is because mm -hmm. the the non-sugar finally up and has jesus to christ go. oh my god okay i gotta get the hell out of here That reminds me, I need to make a bowl of cereal. <laughs> Sometimes I do that. Or I used to, back when I was, like, a younger man. You're only, like, three When years I old was a small old. boy. Dude, I when still I feel was... old being in my 30s. I, I mean, Tell me about I it. feel old. Wait, Dusk, how old are you? <laughs> I'm 31. Uh, oh, you don't, you don't ask I thought that. you were in your 20s. Aw, you're sweet. I haven't been in my 20s no. for many years. <laughs> Ellie, you haven't been in your 20s for two years, dearie. That is true. But it feels like it's been way longer. God. It's okay. <laughs> it is okay. Between the two of us, I am still in my 20s. Angel, you're my baby. Adorable. <laughs> and yet Peter sounds older than all of us, and yet he's younger than a lot of us. No, I, that oh. was the funniest thing ever. I was in a podcast, and that's how I started out. And um, we find out that the guy with, like, the lightest voice in the room is actually the oldest guy. And I had still about the same voice as this. And it's like, boy, how old is... If you're almost, like, 30, how old is that guy? It's like, hi, I'm 20. <laughs> Wait. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I think this helps. Yeah, you really don't sound your AJ on. Actually, I think it's like, it's, it's, I, I guess it's a compliment to take when people say that you sound younger than your age. Yes. Not when you work in the service yeah. industry. Yeah, no, because, yeah. because Panda, you flipped when you found out my real age. You thought I was like 25 or 27. I wish I was I 25 or 27. <laughs> I'm 20, I, I just turned 28. Believe. You cannot convince me. I just turned 28, but Ooh, apparently nice. that puts me in the younger half of the curve. <laughs> Somehow. It's okay. You are beloved. You are too. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all yeah. adorable. We love you too, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sweetie, you left yourself wide open for that one. You did. Yeah, a lot of us. They will not. Everybody around me knows where to strike when you least expect it. The frog? Ellie, in particular, she always seems to just like goes for any opportunity possible. Even to the point where she'll just say something like, no, nope, too easy. <laughs> well, then she doesn't go for every opportunity possible, does she? I think it's more on the lines of her acknowledging that's an opportunity right there, letting you know how vulnerable you are. A sign of weakness. Apparently. <laughs> I finally finished pickles in a washing machine. Oh, God. Yay! Excellent. <laughs> that's freaking adorable. Honestly, you know what I was kind of expecting? Like, mm -hmm. part of me if this does sound graphic, but Panda, as I may recall, your OC is like, goo. like she, yeah, it's goo. It just morphs into a panda. I could just imagine like body portions of her like ripped apart and tell. Hey, oh, okay. No, that that's probably exactly what would happen if you leave her in the washing machine too long. I think one or two spins and she's immediately like goo. What the fuck? Oh, Vlad. <laughs> oh, Vlad. Hey, Vlad. Also, Vlad, apparently you need to come up here. In a washing machine. 
Also, you're, it looks adorable. Look at her in a washing machine. I have a... It's, My... it's, it's very simple. It's just pickles being squashed into comically cartoonish shapes. <laughs> so, Jeez. like... So you get, like, like a cake mold and just... Ow! Just crush, crush pickles into, like, a cake mold, like a heart. Or, like, a Santa. Uh, now I have to draw that. <laughs> Oh, my favorite. Picture. I was gonna say the fucking Tom and Jerry one, where fucking Tom comes out of the safe and he's shaped like a fucking cube. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think that would I think that would work better in terms of humor instead of just like body parts in it's such a graphical horror context. It's just like the the slapstick Tom and Jerry like sort of slapstick would work so much better for Panda. I just think that would be I mean, too that's... funny. That's half the reason why I made her goo is because I always grew up watching Tom and Jerry and all the slapstick, like them, like the frying pan turning you your face flat. Yeah, that sort of thing. <laughs> like the mask, only. See now I can now I feel like Vlad and uh, Solar's insults for pickles is don't make or threats for pickles is don't make me throw you back in the washing machine. <laughs> That's that's the equivalent I mean, of Silver Knight and the punishment of him being in that jar. In the jar. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so like, it's okay, a different you, jar, you fucking what? degenerate. You know that, like, <laughs> I want to point out. I want to point out that that, that that leads perfectly into my next point about how the jar is just such a fucking eponymous phrase. That such visceral horror comes from the mere fucking thought of mentioning it. Which jar are we talking about? You know, the jar. No, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm saying there's like several different jars. We. Dude, I'll DM it. You to don't want to know. know. You don't want to. You don't want to know. know. Yeah. Horn, don't tell him. Jim told me, but you did. Now I'm yeah. telling you. You don't want to know. I, I think he means it when he's literally impersonating Joshua Sweet from Disney's Atlantis. Yeah. yeah. I, I can I can make an educated guess, but like, okay, like, you remember that like goo that you could make like in science class that was like a solid whenever you applied pressure to it and it became liquidy whenever you weren't like Ooblack. squeezing it in your hand with force. Yes. Yeah, it's called oobleck. All right, so I can imagine Vlad just like having like in his little vest pocket, he would just shove pickles in there and then just throw it in the washing machine. <laughs> Would she be like screaming Stuart... from pickles? <laughs> Would she be like Stuart Little then when she's in the washing machine? Oh god. I that. Yeah, but here's the difference. I wouldn't open the door back up. Oh. <laughs> oh dick. That sounds like that sounds like something you would do, Vlad. That does tape washing machine door. I have said it before and I'll say it again. Active maliciousness. <laughs> someone has to be someone has to be that person. <laughs> Done in I gotta be problematic up, at all costs. I'm <laughs> just Everybody imagining death like... comes in. Vlad, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm giving Vlad, somebody. Screaming behind you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, oh, like everybody's don't worry, like. You have to go through the rinse cycle. <laughs> Okay, Everybody's I'm like, back. Vlad, why are you such an asshole at all times? And he's just like, listen, nobody else is, so somebody oh. has to be. Hey, Vladdy Daddy. You know me, <laughs> I gotta be problematic at all costs. Listen, some people say that they're built outside the preset parameters. I'm just built stupid, wrong, in every way, shape, and form. I should not exist. 